My name is Megan Connolly and I was diagnosed when I was 19 years old with Hodgkin's lymphoma. My oncologist, Dr. Leo Gordon, referred me to Kristen Smith, the patient navigator for Oncofertility. It was at that point that I was informed and educated about the reproductive risks associated with this highly toxic treatment I was about to endure. My name is Alyssa Kelly. My daughter Evelyn is seven and a half. Evelyn was diagnosed with intrapericardial rhabdomyosarcoma when she was three and a half. My name is Teresa Woodruff and I'm the director of the Oncofertility Consortium and also a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Northwestern University in Chicago. Well, the Oncofertility Consortium is one of the most exciting fields that I've ever been a part of. So I come from a family of six children. I'm the youngest of six. I have 10 nieces and nephews, so I knew that deep down I always hoped and dreamed to have a family of my own and the thought of cancer possibly taking the opportunity to have a family away from me is something that would be definitely difficult to bear. And so now because of all the work of the members of the Oncofertility Consortium really around the globe, there now are options for almost every young woman who faces that terrible diagnosis of cancer. And when we received the diagnosis is when I said I wanted her ovary removed, thinking that that was a standard of care at the time, and I was surprised to find out that it wasn't, but her oncologist said, well, we can do that, and the oncofertility representative from Lori was in the meeting with us. Evelyn is actually the youngest, what at the time was the youngest person to have her ovarian tissue removed. We really now know things about the ovarian follicle that we didn't know when we started this entire field. And that's enabling us to develop new restoration opportunities for young women with cancer. At a time where, you know, you're in such a daze from, you know, all the medical information and in terms and treatment and scans and you really don't even have time to think about your fertility. The day after she was diagnosed, she had um, open heart surgery to remove her tumor and then we scheduled her surgery to have her ovarian tissue removed. The procedure was pretty quick. We actually saw the nurse take her ovary in the cooler over to Northwestern. And I said to my husband, I said, oh my God, what did we do? Because we removed healthy tissue. Um, I just kept thinking they're not gonna offer this procedure if they don't think she's gonna make it. Knowing that I had time to do the egg harvesting, I'm so, so grateful that I did because everything was handled by Kristen. She, she was, again, my personal fertility advocate and helped me coordinate every aspect of fertility preservation so I did not have to be worried about it. She does know that we removed her ovary and I said, you know, the one that's in your body may not work and so we just put one for storage in case you need it later. And she seemed good with that. Huge thanks to Dr. Leo Gordon, my oncologist, Dr. Teresa Woodruff, founder of Onco Fertility Consortium, and all the researchers and admin team that, you know, make Onco Fertility what it is and helps it run smoothly for patients like myself. I just want to say thank you. Their work will allow her to develop normally and have children if she so chooses, for which I am extremely grateful.